What's up guys? How's it going? Um, I hope everybody can hear me okay. Uh, I've been trying to set up this as, as uh, efficiently as I can uh, for tonight. Um, kind of overwhelmed really to be honest by the uh, the response and the take up. Um, initially I thought I might have 10 or 20. Uh, it looks like there's nearly 100 people here which is absolutely mad really when you think about it. Um, so I was flat out today tying up the corner with all my bike parts. Um, so listen guys, right, I've got my laptop going here as well, just so I can keep the connection uh, and just so I know that I haven't lost connection or anything like that. So, um, very high tech altogether. Um, so what we're going to go through guys, right, we're going to go through about 25 to 30 minutes of uh, just basic mobility work. Some foam rolling, some basic mobility exercises that we can add in. Um, really important things to keep on top of now. Um, Personally, uh, I've noticed since the whole COVID-19, uh, I suppose, pandemic and whatnot, um, <laughs> that, you know, there's been a, uh, I'm, I've been sitting a lot more. My hips have gotten tighter, my quads have gotten tighter, just little things like that. So I just wanted to make sure, first of all, um, that everybody can hear me and that we can get this done. I think it'd be really good. Uh, yeah, so the tunes are going to go off in a sec, sorry. <coughs> so that's good, I mean, everybody can hear me. So, you know, uh, like I said guys, I see a lot of people kind of smash themselves training uh, over this kind of COVID-19 period. Personally, I don't think it's the right way to go. Um, you should be training hard, but it's not a three week training camp. Uh, and yeah, this is a good time as well to work on your mobility work, okay? Something we all need to kind of work on. Um, I suppose just from a disclaimer perspective, um, if you are injured, this is not a, a way to fix an injury. Uh, if you are suffering with a musculoskeletal or a soft tissue injury, you should see a professional about that, first of all, before you do anything, okay? Um, so again, you know, for me, I suppose I'm gonna kind of contradict myself here. A foam roller won't really fix an injury. Um, a foam roller will help you with your range of motion and stuff like that. Uh, we'll do a bit of hip mobility. Uh, you guys can see my massive whiteboard here. I think you can't anyways. And, um, you know, we're gonna just move ourselves, get our hips opened up a little bit, ankles, we're gonna do some knee stability stuff, quads, IT bands, glutes, hamstrings, calves, things like that. I'm gonna show you a little trick with a golf ball, um, and look, some upper back stuff as well. Again, personally, I've been spending a lot of time sitting, typing, um, you know, just sitting down on the couch, kind of thrown in stupid positions and stuff. So I think that's gonna help as well, okay? So we're, we'll crack on into it, guys. I've got a little clock here in front of me. I won't keep you guys too long. If I can finish, in less than uh, less than 25 minutes or so. Uh, fantastic, I will, I'll cut it, because time is money. Who wants to be sitting here listening to me when you could be watching Netflix or something? Um, so we're, we're gonna crack on with it, guys, first of all, okay? So the reason I asked you guys to get a kind of a, maybe a small cushion or something, um, is for your knees, okay? So I have what's called an Airx pad. Not everybody has one of those. As you can see, my father's been using it uh, clearly while he's painting. Um, but what it does, guys, it just gives a bit of support to the knee. Um, you know, your kneecap is a floating kind of muscle, uh, floating bone, and it's got fluid underneath it, so it, it doesn't really like when you just kneel on hard ground. So I always have a, something soft underneath my knee. So if you want to take a second there, just to go grab maybe a cushion, or maybe, uh, you know, something, maybe a folded up, fold up towel over a couple times, um, that might help, okay? Um, and we're gonna get, we're gonna crack into it here, guys, straight away, okay? So, um, yo, I'll just drive on. I presume everybody can hear me okay and stuff like that. Um, and we're gonna crack on. I presume all you guys, uh, you guys all have a phone order, okay? Um, I also just wanted to show you guys this very, very quickly. Um, so this is a tiny little foam roller that I got out in the US, which is, um, which is fantastic. It's, it's, it's really small. It fits my backpack if I'm going traveling or wherever, um, and it's a really handy thing. Um, if you're stuck and you don't want to bring a huge foam roller everywhere, you could just chop a bit off, and that would do you as well. Um, so I have one of these, and one of these. Keep it simple. Um, so we're going to start off, guys. Right? Just put the air on there to the side for a second. Um, we're going to start off in our foam roller. We're going to start off in our quads. Um, I suppose one of the first things I see people making a mistake with, and this is from uh, you know owning a gym for six and a half years as well, is people just kind of seem to fly through their foam rolling, okay? And I like to do the complete opposite, uh, like a number of things, um, but we're going to go really slow, really slow and controlled, 
and the slower the better. I'll show you a couple of variations of things. I'll show you some easier ways to do things and some more advanced ways to do things as well. Okay, so again, follow along. <coughs> take your time at it. If you need to take a little bit of a break, grab a sip of water. Foam rolling can be tough. Sometimes I'm gonna be sweating around foam rolling, and that's okay as well. So we're gonna start off, guys. Down your elbows, your foam roller is gonna start just above your kneecaps, okay? Now, first thing we wanna do here is we wanna make sure that our hips stay up and our toes stay about one centimeter off the ground. A lot of times I see people make a banana here and they turn their legs up and they dip their lower back. We don't wanna do that, okay? We wanna keep our toes about a centimeter off the ground and we wanna go really slowly, guys, okay? So I'm talking anywhere from eight to 10 seconds um, to go all the way up through your quad. Okay, so nice and slow and controlled. You're gonna do the same coming back down. The slower the better, guys. Okay, so we don't want we don't want people just flying up and down here for one or two reps before you go for a run. You wanna go nice and slow. Toes are just off the floor. And then you'll start to feel a couple of little trigger points. That's okay. I have lots. <laughs> so nice and slow, guys. Nice and slow, nice and slower the better, slower the better. Good stuff. And as well, I don't know, but just while I'm here, if you guys have any friends that try to get in the group, I was literally trying my best right until, up until when I started to get everybody accepted in, but I might have missed some people, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, maybe the next one. So guys, if you want to advance this on a little bit, so notice my feet are still just off the floor. We're not going to let them flare up. If you want to make this a little bit more advanced, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to come back down just above your knees, okay? You're gonna stack your two kneecaps on top of each other, getting the weight into your left leg. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing on one leg, really slow. That's a little bit more difficult. I can hear people in pain through the telephone or the laptop, sorry. Nice and slow. Like I said, the slower the better. There we go. I like sometimes that guys, is, this is not really a, uh, it's not really set in stone ring, but sometimes I like to stop and just hold for a second Just over a little tender spot nice and slow and then get moving again. Okay, we can switch sides Now if this is too difficult for you or you find this really hard Just stay going on the two legs. Go really slow Maybe just softly shift a bit of weight into one quad or one leg and, and go and build it up from there Okay, so I'm gonna go on to my right leg here now This won't be good Okay, nice and slow Oh yeah, nice. So I'm still keeping that toe just off the floor, guys, okay? Just off the floor, nice and slow. Easy. Not too bad, we just shoot for about three each side or so. Nice. Okay, you can do one or two more there, guys. Just make sure we're all good here. Oh, would you look at that? 124 people, that's fucking nuts. Sorry for cursing. Okay, so that's quads done, guys. Uh, what we're gonna move on to next, we're gonna move on to the inside of our quads. So the way I kind of set the camera up, <coughs> you can see the foam roller is this way. We're gonna turn it to a 45 degree angle. There, thereabouts, okay? I'm actually gonna turn it this way because I'm gonna do my right quad so you guys can see me. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna lie flat down, but I'm gonna go get more of the inside of my quad here. So more, it's the muscle here is called your, your vastus medialis. So we're gonna get a little bit more on the inside of the quad. Lying straight on the foam rotor, we would get more of our rec fem. So the thing about the rec fem and the vastus medialis and the vastus lateralis is that they all connect down the knee, guys, okay? So again, I'm not saying that a foam rotor rolling your quads can fix your knees, but it will help increase the range of motion um, through and help a little bit of blood flow through your quads. And that's good, that's a good thing, okay? So, back to our, uh, back to our quads. We're gonna turn our front row at about a 45 degree angle, roughly, okay? We're gonna slightly open up my leg, okay? So my ankle, if you guys can see there, can you guys see? You can. My ankle, I'm not turning my toe down. Now my toe is pointing towards the wall, okay? And I'm just gonna roll the inside of my quad. For me, personally, okay, I get it right down there at the bottom. Probably from cycling, I'd imagine. Okay, nice and slow. You're just gonna hold that. So again, I have a little spot there now. So I'm gonna literally apply a little bit of pressure into that. Hold it. Okay, just little baby rolls for a second over the tender spot. We got any cyclists here? I know there's a few cyclists. 
There's a couple of international cyclists tuning in, I believe. And what we're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna hold it, and we're gonna go through a little technique that's called flossing, okay? So basically, you're gonna hold, you're gonna bring your knee back, and forward again. So I like to do maybe three flosses on a tender spot. There we go. Nice and so that's not gonna be very pleasant. And then we just roll away again, okay? Nice and controlled. Nice and easy, just time is flying, okay. All right, so that's that one, guys. Obviously, you know, you have two legs, so we're gonna do both, okay? So for me, guys, I'm right side dominant. So I'm right side dominant, so what that means is that a lot of times my right IT band, my right quad and stuff will be a little bit tighter, okay? So you just pick out those little things yourself, softly as well, and always be self-aware and aware of yourself too of what side you're carrying more, you know, what side's more dominant. Yeah, so this side's not as tender, but we're still gonna do some work on it, okay? So nice and controlled. <coughs> I'm gonna be running out of things to talk to, things to talk about, I'm just joking. So guys, what I'm hoping to do as I roll through this part here, um, again, my ankle, my toes are now pointing towards the wall, okay? Um, I'm hoping to pull this video from Facebook and get it up on the YouTube channel. That's the plan. Um, and maybe do like a voiceover thing on it. That'd be great. Okay, so again, found a little tender spot. I'm just going to do three little flosses there, guys. Nice and easy. Good stuff. Nice and controlled. Good. All right. That's not too bad. Okay, next one so guys we're gonna go into is we're gonna go into our IT band, okay? Now, <clears throat> what we're gonna do guys, right, is you can't, so the IT band's an interesting one. Um, you know, it's not actually, you can't directly form all of it, we can form all the muscle tissue around it, okay? So again, I'm gonna show you guys one very uh, kind of common mistake I see people make when they form all their IT band. I'm just gonna grab a sip of water first is they go again too quick and they don't do it nice and controlled and also the angling of your body is quite important here <coughs> so you guys know, can see me okay there so what I'm going to do guys there's a, a progression and a regression of this one is I'm going to start with my ankles together elbows beneath the shoulder as always when it's your, your body likes when your joints are stacked above and under each other okay now what I'm going to do guys is this top hip, I'm going to bring the floor a little bit and support myself with my hand, okay? So you're not going to go square on because you won't really get into it. What you're going to do is you're going to tilt slightly this way and then you're going to go, there we go. Now that's quite painful, right? So what we're going to do is your top leg can go on the floor if you wish, just to make it that little bit not as horrific. Um, if that makes sense, okay? So I, <clears throat> I'm small, so I need to move around a little bit with my arms here, but that's okay. Um, again, for me personally, it's down around the knee is where I get a lot of this. Um, all those kind of attachments that are on the knee and stuff like that, nice and slow. We can also do our flossing here, guys, right? So just so you guys can see. So again, I'm, I'm angled down a little bit, so I'm not down too far, or I'm not too upright, I'm just slightly turned about five degrees. Now I found a spot here, and I'm gonna just do a little bit of flossing again. One, two, and three. That's not too bad. Okay, now again, sometimes guys, we can get a bit of tightness up around the, the hip and stuff. You know, you can kind of get in there, you can mess around in there a bit as well. Um, sometimes it takes a bit, a bit of time, you know, your muscles relax and stuff like that um, to get into it, okay? So we can switch sides there. So as you see, this is moving away pretty quickly. Should probably clean the old floor, but that's all right. No, same again, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I set myself up here. Then I'm gonna bring my top hip down just a fraction. So a little turn and do the exact same thing. Now this is, this is tender, okay? So I'm gonna scale this back and I'm gonna put this foot on the floor. There we go. 130 people, that is mad. Thank you all very much. I come up with all these ideas when I'm out running, by the way. 
Uh, yep, so that's that's quite tender there now for me. Uh, a lot of run on the last couple, couple of heavy bike sessions. So, so I'm going to do some flosses here now guys. I'm going to bring my foot back and not hit my bike. Nice and controlled. Good stuff. Nice. Okay. Nice one. Alright, so next we're going to move on to guys the glutes. Okay, so again, <clears throat> best way to show you guys this one is by literally starting on my foam roller, okay, two feet in front of me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cross my right leg over onto my left leg and then I'm going to roll my right glute. Okay, so again, that just opens up the glute rather than just kind of sitting there, opens up the glute, get right into that glute medius there, okay. Might take <coughs> you a few rolls just to get into it a little bit, okay? Uh, nice and slow again, I feel, is kind of the way to go with that. Nice controlled. For me, it's kind of when you get over the bony part and then up a little bit. That's where I get, yeah, right there is usually where I can kind of feel it, okay? You can switch sides. Um, so same thing again, guys, right? Ankle's just gonna go over the knee. I'm going to bring myself over onto that left glute, getting the weight into the roller, and that side's not too bad, okay? That's alright as well. Um, good stuff. Nice controlled. God, the internet's cool, isn't it? Okay. Um, just while we're finishing that one, guys, I put a link as well there. Most of you guys might have read it. It's a blog post I wrote about how we can adjust our training during uh, COVID-19, okay? Just some random thoughts and insights that might be helpful, okay? <clears throat> I've got an asterisk beside the next one, guys. Partially, I find it very hard to foam roll my hamstrings. Um, they're a deeper set of muscle group. Uh, muscles are set a bit deeper, excuse me. Um, but what I find is if I do want to go at them, uh, I have to go single leg, and I have to come right up, like, in the top of the foam roller here, right up near the... Uh, the attachment okay so I just find it's harder to foam roll my hamstring so personally I don't really do it a lot and um, I can get in right on the belly end right in here a bit if I put my weight again foot on the ankle nice controlled sometimes those little spots I just like to hold it just very very gradually move it forward and back side side just move it around, see what, it's, see what it's like. Sometimes as well, guys, I, I feel like I zone out a little bit when I'm foam rolling, but sometimes it's good just to stay in tune and see what part of your body is feeling achy, which is really tender. It's good to kind of just know that stuff, you know. Um, so move on to the other side there now. So again, I can't really feel much here, but it's still good to, still good to give them a good rolling anyways. Get a bit of blood flow in there. Yeah, just about there now. Nice controlled. I can just just vaguely see a comment there. Someone saying it was 8:30. Don't don't worry about it. Like you can watch back, um, and I'm gonna try to post it on the YouTube channel as well. Okay. Um, next one, guys, calves. Um, <laughs> anybody here into running? Uh, I always get a lot of calf tightness, guys. So I found uh, a couple of things the last few months have really helped me. Is keep my calves loose and. And, and, and supple and also working on an exercise here that I'm going to show you guys in about four or five minutes is just basic ankle mobility okay so again we're going to form our calves here I can't roll my calf up and down straight normal so I'm going to show you guys a little trick so I'm doing my right leg right leg on the roller I'm going to start right at the belly of my calf okay so that's our calf you've got your gastrocnemius here which is the belly of the calf that part and you've got your ciliaus on the inside okay I get a lot of tightness in my ciliaus, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the belly here, and I'm gonna, it's my right foot, I'm gonna turn it to my left. So I turn my foot, and that just opens up my calf a little bit. There we go, that's nice and tender in there now, okay? So you, a lot of these guys, you're just gonna have to move around and see for yourself where you can find the little spots. So to floss this now, for example, I just hold over a little tender spot, Toes away, toes towards me, away and towards me, okay? Nice and controlled. Just two or three more of those. Nice and easy. Oh, found 
good spot there. Okay, good stuff. Let's uh, let's switch over and do the other side. So you can see, guys, like you know, you could do this while you're watching TV. So again, this is my left foot. I'm gonna turn my left toes towards the right. Opens up. So instead of this, I'm going in here. Boom. Okay, get the weight onto my calf. There we go. I can feel that now. Okay. So rather than like it's again it's slow movements. I'm not flying up and down. I'm sitting on the ground here. A lot of people hold themselves up. I like to just sit and do little baby rolls over and back, just to see kind of you know okay what's tender. Yeah. Okay, I'm a little bit tender there. Probably from yesterday's run. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, found the spot. Let's do some flosses over and back. Nice controlled. Nice and easy. Okay. Um, as well guys, if you want, I really hate doing this, but if you want to, uh, you can tag it on social media or whatever as well. Completely up to you, I don't really mind if you do or not. Um, I wanted to show you guys a quick trick um, with a ball, okay? So this is a lacrosse ball, it's an American sport. It's like um, hurling, and I don't know, it's like an, a non, not as violent form of hurling, okay? So this is a cross ball. I find them really good for certain parts of my body. Um, for runners, I'm gonna show you guys a really, really handy exercise that I do daily, standing there at my little desk. Um, I'm gonna go out of screen now, but you can use a golf ball, uh, you can use a cross ball. There's a, a lot of Irish fitness equipment companies would sell these too. So what I do is I'm gonna stand up. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna get the ball right into the ball of my foot, into the arch of the foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the weight into the ball and I'm just going to roll forward and back. That is not probably the most pleasant thing in the world, but um, anybody here who's had plantar fasciitis or anything like that before, I just find that this really helps keep mobility through the arch of my feet and up the back of my ankles. I find since I started doing this a lot more that I'm not having as much lower calf tightness. Okay, just, just throwing that out there, personal anecdotal evidence, which means I kind of came up with it myself. Okay, nice controlled. You want to get your weight into that side, so don't lean over here. You want to get the weight into it. It's not, not the nicest, but it's still very good, okay? Okay, uh, if you guys don't have a ball, it's fine. You can just watch for a sec. We're going to go into some mobility stuff now. Nice and easy. I really find that really good. So you come on, I'm home, I'm drinking a cup of water or tea or something that I'm just rolling on my feet. I have a couple of these scattered around the house and I just use them whenever I can get my hands on them really kind of handy. Okay. Um am I missing any comments? I it's hard to watch the comments guys while I'm doing it so I'll uh, I'll check back on them uh, like soon. <laughs> Alright. Okay so we're gonna go on to some basic mobility stuff guys. We've got about five or six minutes to go. Um, and again, all these can be kind of done anywhere, okay? So, hotel room while you're traveling, um, out in the open, <laughs> you know, wherever you want to get them done, you can do them, okay? So, we're going to start off with our hip openers. If you spend a lot of time on a bike or you spend a lot of time sitting, um, our hip mobility isn't the best, okay? So, and for runners as well, just like good knee drive, good running economy, good running technique, um, you want to make sure that you've good, good open hips, hip mobility is always something we should be working on. It's something I'm always working on. Um, and we're just gonna do some very, very basic exercises here, guys, okay? All right. So we're gonna come into a push-up position, okay? So you're gonna get your hands are gonna be directly beneath your shoulders, and you're gonna come into a push-up position, okay? You're gonna bring your right foot up to your right hand. Now, if you can't come up that far, that's absolutely fine, okay? You just come up to where you can, roughly in and around that area would be great, okay? So. This is what it looks like from the side. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my right foot up to my right hand. Now guys, you would see this online, you see a lot of people with the knee on the ground. Personal opinion, I'd rather keep that leg up. I just get a much better stretch, okay? You can just hold it. I like to bring my torso just down a little bit, okay? And back we go. I'm gonna switch sides. Now, I bring my torso down a little bit. Breathe, throw all these as well, obviously. Nice. Now guys, if you're struggling to bring your foot back, I just you can just walk it out and then just bring it back. Okay? I'm gonna do one more over this side. Nice and easy. I do all these guys on the right hand side here, the ones we're doing right now. I would do most of these before I go for a run. Okay? 
and they're not really stretches, they're more dynamic kind of movements, okay? Nice controlled. And you can just bring your chest down a little bit lower. Okay, and then I just like do a little calf stretch uh, each time I go back, okay? So I'm just gonna do this once more, but just from this angle so you can kind of see me, okay? Maybe from here, okay? So, what I like to do as a test for myself is I like to see how far I can bring my elbow down. Now that's not great. I used to be able to get my elbow to my ankle, but you don't want to force it either, okay? Just go a little bit further every time. You don't want to push it too much because your body won't like that. Okay. See, for me, what I can feel here is as I'm trying to get runners to be more self-aware, I can get down a little bit lower here. Okay, actually I can get down significantly lower. So that's always something to be watching guys. What side are you moving better on? Which side do you feel uh, has better mobility, etc, etc. Oh god, okay, I'm sweating. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm sweating. Um, okay, next one guys, you're gonna grab your little cushion. All right. Um, so again, I'll just give you guys 10 or 15 seconds if you don't have one close to you. You can also get a towel or your hoodie and fold it over. And you just want to have something soft underneath the kneecap, okay? So <clears throat> again, just when we're doing this exercise, you don't want all the weight going onto your kneecap. Again, kneecap's a floating bone, it's like no bit of fluid. We don't want to put too much pressure on it, okay? So what we're going to do here, guys, right, is to start this exercise, you're going to have 90 degrees between your hamstring and your calf and 90 degrees between your hamstring and your calf. Nice and easy, okay? From Keep your foam roller close by. What we're going to do, guys, is you're going to bring this knee forward. Okay, keep your foam roller here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring our shoulders back and then we're going to go up overhead with our roller, okay? Now, I'm getting a really high kind of quad stretch, even coming up into my psoas there, okay? So again, anybody, can you can imagine, just picture yourself sitting down all day, or sitting on the saddle of a bike for a long time, okay? Back to my kind of 90 degree angle again. I just let myself relax, okay, a little bit of blood flow, go back in there, and then I get my roller. Now, what you really want to do here, guys, right? And I'm gonna change angles in a second. Um, is you don't want to push it too far, you're just going to feel like you're getting a good kind of gradual stretch on it, okay? So you guys can stay where you are, but just from the side, this is what it looks like for me, okay? So forward, shoulders back, up overhead, and then get a really good stretch all the way up. It's like, it feels like it's only coming up, you know, into your obliques, okay? It's a really, really good stretch. You guys might see versions of this as well, guys, online where people have their foot up on a couch or something. It's called a couch stretch because you can do it off the couch. But more importantly, the couch, make sure you got something underneath your knee, okay? All right, so let's switch sides. Okay, and again, you're going to make take note, guys. I already know myself, the side's a bit tighter, okay? So you're going to lean forward slightly, roller up in the air. And just bring those shoulders back. So hips are gonna go away from you, shoulders are gonna go slightly behind you, and remember we're gonna be breathing through the whole thing as well, guys, okay? Good stuff, nice and controlled. Not pushing it. So again, hotel room, you know, anything after travel after a long flight. And these are kind of the first things I do, guys, really, you know. Um, like most people just say go for a run or go straight for a run. Um, I actually prioritize some kind of good quality movement stuff instead, okay? And then you can go running after that. So from the side, again, I got 90 degrees here, roughly. 90 degrees here, and up. Good stretch. Am I getting that, guys? All that here. Not too bad, okay? How are we getting on? Doing well, okay. So guys, for this next one, okay, um, I spoke to you guys earlier on, just very briefly about ankle mobility, okay? Something I've really started to work on a lot since finishing Crossing America, because um, I got my first Achilles injury in America. So 
basically guys, what we want to be working on really, okay, as cyclists and, and runners, uh, both really, is ankle mobility, so the mo mobility of your ankle joint, you want your knees to have good stability, so mobility at the ankle, stability at the knee, and good mobility at the hips, okay, so mobility, stability, mobility. Obviously you want them all to be mobile and all to be stable, but for, you know, for what we're doing, um, ankle mobility, knee stability, and hip mobility are really important, okay? So we're going to be finished guys in about three minutes, but I wanted to show you this kind of uh, one against the wall first. Maybe if you guys are close to the wall, you can do this. Um, maybe you are in a corner of the coffee table or something, okay? Um, again, we're getting our knee pads or, or something soft underneath our knee, okay? And I'm actually going to do this side first so you guys can see me. So, <clears throat> what I'm doing here guys, right? I'm in my, my, my socks. And you're going to bring your toes maybe about three or four inches from the wall. Okay, and you're just going to lean. Try to bring your knee to the wall. Making sure that your heel doesn't come off the ground. Okay, and we want to make sure that the heel doesn't come off the ground. Okay, so leaning slightly into it. So for me guys, I'm getting a good stretch here. Right up through my stellates. Remember that's where I felt I would feel a lot of calf tightness down here. So I'm not forcing it. Okay. On my third push, I hit the wall. Okay. I hit the, not, not, you know, not the wall we want to hit in running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my foot back another little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. And go again. Not too bad. Okay. So I'm feeling a good stretch there. I usually do kind of sets of three, all right? So that's not too bad, okay? Now I'm gonna pop over this side. If you do this guys every day, I'm telling you it will really help. Just this specific exercise if you don't do anything else, okay? So again, just come in. Okay, I've just hit the wall there. Again, ankles down, feeling a good stretch out through my calf. You know guys, sometimes guys, if I listen to an audio book or something, I'll just come here and I'll just hold this for something like two, three minutes, four minutes. Um, okay, nice controlled. Good. Okay, and then I just give my ankle a little bit of a break. Not too bad. How are we doing? Unreal. Nice. Okay. Uh, again, guys, if I miss any of the comments, uh, my apologies, I will come back to them later on, okay? Um, okay, guys, second last one. So, is we're just going to go into a standard uh, kind of a dude stretch. Again, I'm not a massive fan of stretching cold muscles. Okay, which we're obviously not going to do, uh, but again, it's something I like to do at the end of a kind of a mobility session. Okay, just like this really, really like stretch the glutes. Is what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep pulling my belly button in. This leg is going to, this ankle is going to come on the knee, and just going to bring what I like to do. I like to put my hand on my knee here, and my hand on my ankle, and just slowly glide it back. Get a good stretch out to my glutes. I see a lot of people guys like pulling their ankle like that. Look, all right. Don't like to do that to your poor ankle, okay? Cup it, guide it back, hold the stretch, breathe through it, and just hold it, okay? Just let it go after four or five seconds, and then bring it back again. Nothing too crazy, guys, you don't want to overstretch. Our bodies are already fatigued from training, okay? You want this to help you, not to kind of hold you back, all right? Nice and easy, okay? All right, so we're gonna switch sides. You're going to get the ankle up on the knee again, slowly guide it back, cup your ankle, cup your knee, and just hug it in, guys, okay? <sighs> breathing nice and easy. And you want to keep breathing, guys, because you hold your breath while you stretch, and um, your heart rate will start to go up, okay? So you want to stay nice and calm. I find personally when I breathe, okay, with a lot of exercises as well, is when I inhale, when I exhale, so I bring the stretch just a little bit further, okay? <sighs> Easy. All right, so that's glutes kind of loose now, guys. Should be fairly, feeling fairly loose now. And then, guys, the last one that we're gonna do is just a basic one for our upper back, okay? Upper back, and it's known as our thoracic region, okay? Again, you spend a lot of time at a computer, a lot of time hunched over on a bike, and a lot of times on our phones, uh, we look like where everybody's hunched over, okay? So we're gonna add in one very, very simple exercise here. That's really gonna help with that, okay? I'm gonna bring back our little roller again. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Uh, yeah, I can 
can see there's a lot of comments there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, getting back to those soon, okay? So we're gonna lie down on our sides, guys, okay? So again, lie on our sides, hands straight out, and I'm gonna get my top leg here on the roller, okay? I hope I'm not going on a shot. Move down here a bit. You can see what I'm doing? Okay, so hands together. What I'm gonna try and do, guys, the aim here is to bring my fingers on the floor and keep them on the floor when they're gone off the floor. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm gonna reach all the way around my back and come all the way around again, okay? So have you guys noticed when I get to here, great. Oh, there we go, really tight up and off the back, okay? So that can be a bit of tightness through my chest, upper back and neck. Um, I like to do about five of these guys and go really slow. And even through the back end, keep it slow, okay? Don't like fly through it. Nice and easy. Nice. Keeping that knee on the roller, okay? And we're just gonna pop over to the other side. Can't get over once people are here, it's so cool. <laughs> All right, so, knee on the roller again. Okay, legs straight out of the back. Hands together, as usual is where I like to start. Toes, I'm gonna have to move my laptop there now for a sec. Okay, so hands down, roll back. Might hear a few cracks. Okay, nice and easy. It's good. Yeah, shoulder and chest opened up. Really handy one as well, guys, if you sit in an office or if you work at a desk or something like that. Okay, we should do one more then. Easy, okay. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Okay, guys. Um, so listen, guys, that's kind of it. Uh, that was just a very, very uh, quick idea that came to mind yesterday morning when I was out in a run. I was like, you know, everybody's doing these massive high intensity sessions, online, free online sessions, and I was like, nobody's looking after mobility. And I noticed myself personally, because I was sitting down more, I've got a little stand up desk thing now, and I was like, oh my God, I said, my mobility's gone not as good because uh, I'm sitting more at home and whatnot. So just something I came up with, from the pick up and take back and, and, and the feedback, I'm definitely gonna be doing another one, and um, we might even do one like Saturday morning, or I'll let me know maybe in the comments when uh, we feel like a weekend one, or we might do it again this day next week or something. And um, but I'll try to keep the video file posted here, and I'll try to put it up on YouTube too, um, and maybe do a better voiceover of it or something like that. And um, again, if you want to tag it or me or whatever on whatever social media platforms you use, that'd be fantastic and great. It doesn't really bother me if you don't. I don't mind. Um, and maybe there are some people guys that you thought might have enjoyed this. Um, invite them to the group, I'll accept them. Um, I just put some questions there just to stop kind of bots and stuff like that getting in. Um, and yeah, that's that's kind of it guys, really. If, if you guys have any other questions, um, maybe pop it into the comment section. Um, I'm probably gonna just clean up here, have a shower because I'm sweating and I'll get back to all the questions then guys. So yeah, maybe have a read of the link there too. Um, the link is again, a blog post about how we can train through COVID-19. Um, be smart, be safe, stay within your two kilometer radius. Um, yeah, and yeah, hopefully, and hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I enjoyed doing it, I enjoyed preparing it, uh, I enjoyed planning it out. Uh, and again, it's really simple guys. It's so, so important to, you know, your, my movement quality is, is probably one of my highest priorities. Because I know if I move well and um, consistently, um, I will have a higher chance of staying injury free. Now that's not to say that I will be injury free all the time. Um, I've had a lot of injuries in my days, <laughs> believe me, I've had a lot, most of them actually. Um, but I understand the more attention I give my movement quality, the higher chance I have of, of recovering and being able to go again the next day, um, staying injury free, kind of avoiding some overuse tightnesses and injuries. Um, and I find it really a really interesting part of, of training and of endurance. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I've gone a couple minutes over as per usual, but um, guys, listen, thanks very much. Uh, I think I'll let the tunes recommence now and uh, I hope you all have a nice evening. I'm just gonna pop up and turn that off. And um, yeah, thanks very much again, guys. Uh, don't forget to dust off the foam roller. We all have one or two or 11 like I have, um, but it's really important to use them as well, okay? They can, be, they can be your friend. So thanks very much, guys, and we'll see you again for the next one, hopefully.